everyone, we are live. This is 2OF Entertainment. Hey now, we're back. Hey now, yeah, yeah, hey we're now. here. Ooh, look at us. Oh, let's look at that. Oh, ooh. that's a scary ooh. picture. No, no, no. Let's, let's, let's just see that close. There you go. It but is, if I do that, true. everybody can see the one hundred thousand plaque behind you. So that's why I'm doing. Yeah, that yeah, indeed, indeed. And then if I do this, there you are in all your glory. There we there go. You are good. There you go. Well, let's not do that. It'll scare people. So there no, have it. It, it, it needed it needed it it needed it, it. Needs, it needed something my friend so and yeah. you can get that t-shirt by the way with that picture on our yeah picture. you can you can if you're you that crazy <laughs> no. yeah is it i, wear, uh, I have it, one i have it in my closet i wear it when it's cold when i'm out and yeah. when it's cold i wear it out and people ask me when you they, they ask me is yeah, that when you you're out I'm out like, yes, when i'm out yeah. i wear it just to, yeah. just to get the reaction from people i love it yeah they all look at me like I'm on drugs. And I'm like, yeah, that's all right. I'm good. Yeah. Well, what can I say, Stephen? You know, another mm. another another week. We're back. Oh, we we're are back. But we've got we've got a fun filled show. Uh, um, if you say so. Yeah. And um <laughs> I, I just say, well, let, let's just dive straight in then. Here oh go. my god, we're gonna dive straight in. on this yeah, week's no in. snobs or knobs. We have true yeah. or false. We've got rant of the week on this day. Stupid AI photo of the week. I can't wait for that. Yeah, one. that's back Nobby, by, back by okay. popular demand. Nobby News, sex horoscopes, which we also have on its own channel, which is exploding. So if you're into sex and horoscopes, there you go. Um, yeah. Achievable things to be done before you die. Okay, I can't wait to hear that. AI Babe of the Week. Oh, we have eight things today. Uh, it's going to be an interesting show. All right, let's yep. get started. What's our true or yeah. false? I got there last week's go. right, by the way. There we go. There we go. True there or false? Go. The yeah, first right. animal sent into space was a monkey. Um, yeah. I think it was a dog, actually. So I say false. You say false? Okay. I say false. Oh, it was a dog. I thought that, I thought they sent a dog into space or a gerbil yeah. or something because they were a little gay. Um, but I thought, yeah, I don't think it was a monkey for some reason. I think the monkey came later. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Well, yeah. right, we'll see. Every well, I like this as the song goes. Everybody's got something to hide apart from me and my monkey. Oh. Um, oh. Right. Well, we'll just we'll just bank that one up then, and um, yeah, we'll get and, to it and, at the end of the show. Get to it at the end of the show, like we normally yeah. do. So we're, yeah. we're moving on now. Moving on. Moving on. To uh, oh yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. This does this deserves. Oh, do you actually have, do you actually have a rant or not? Have I, a rant? We, we have we have a rant. We have a rant because we have we had another. We've been inundated by emails. Yeah. again and um yeah. and so i sorted i sorted them out and um uh and this is from of course uh from our uh, very very loyal follower miss uh eileen in, dover from and beaver Lake, in beaver lick kentucky. kentucky uh we love beaver lick kentucky so that's where you, the uh, best her, beavers her, are her rant of the week is social media influencers that's her rant. okay aren't we those we're social media influencers why would you rant about well, ours? yeah well you know Right. What can I say? What can how I do say? we get to the point where we listen to random people on the internet telling us how to live our lives? Because, bitch, you need it. Anyway, you're from Beaverlick. No, no I'm just kidding. Um, and let's see. And are we desperate for guidance that we will take our life and fashion tips from someone who's never left their bedroom? Apparently so, because most of these people have millions and millions of followers. So, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. it's a thing. I got a rant. I have one. Oh, uh, you have a rant. Oh, okay. I, can, I mean, enough. it's very nice. The Beaver Look is social influence. That's a yeah, big deal. I have one. I have a friend of mine, actually, a couple of guys, you know, guys our age that are out looking for work. And yeah. the recruiter told them, and we, we were at dinner last night, and he said, the recruiter that he's working with said that everyone thinks once you hit 50, you're going to die. And um, he was like, true. Very true. What? Very true. I, I know. And I said, I'm sorry, one more time. And these guys are like me. They work out every day. They do this. They're in shape. They do consult. But nobody wants to hire them for a real job because they think they're too old and don't know what's going on. And meanwhile, yeah. they know more at the head of their dick than these kids know in their life. As I told my friend, 
at our age, we can outthink, outfuck, out anything these other people, and nobody wants to hire these people. So it's, I'm thinking this is the craziest thing in the world. What they want to do, Stephen, is they want to hire someone who's yeah, yeah. 25, yeah. With 10 years with 10 years work experience. That doesn't happen. And then, and then uh, they will be able to, you know, they'll be able to. I mean, I have it here in Holland. It drives me crazy. Okay. I had the same thing, same thing as well. And then you have to go and have these Friday drinks with everybody. No, I don't want to have Friday drinks. I want to go home before the rush hour. You want? Yeah. You ask yourself, I'm okay with. Ask, I'm okay with Friday drinks. I'm okay yeah. with that. My my whole thing is though. And and, if, and football tables and ping pong. Yeah, that's fine. Listen, I, I, I don't. I uh. could care less about that. But here's the problem I have with the younger generation compared to the older. And I said this to my buddy because he's up north, and I said, you know, we all come from New York. That's why I only hang out with New Yorkers, and because everyone else basically losers. Um, and I said, the problem is, is we have the wall. We all came from the same place, Wall Street. We all have the same stupid mentality, which is you get into the office somewhere between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. And you work your ass off. And then you go home, whether it's at 5 o'clock or 8 o'clock or whatever. And that's, and then you may work at night. You may work a little on the weekends. But everybody wants work-life balance. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't get it. And so when they can get, like, this guy's got tons of experience in corporate finance and he'll go in for an interview and they're like, Oh, we love you, blah, 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 blah. And then they'll find out three weeks later, they hired someone like a half his age, just out of university. That's never done a deal in their life. And I'm like, wow. So I'll tell you, age I'll, discrimination I'll probably, is ridiculous to me. I think I'll it's a dumb, you. that's a rant I have. I mean, forgetting Biden for a second, but it's the dumbest thing in the world that these people want to hire inexperienced people to do their job because they don't think the older people yeah. can do it. And the older people actually know more, and how to do it better, and they've forgotten more than these newer people do. So that's my, well, my rant. I've, prob I've probably told this story before on, on the channel, so probably people have probably heard it, so my excuses. But I always used to get the self same thing. You have too much experience. Yeah, that's yeah. what the recruiters used to tell me. And I said, well, that's great. And Because when I went to the supermarket and I bought a whole load of groceries, and I said to the, to the girl on the checkout, how much is that? She said, 30 euros. I said, don't worry, right. I'm going to pay with my pay with my yes, yes. Yep. and she said i'm sorry we only accept we only accept euros so and i sold that story to a recruit she said what does that mean i said it just means that it's a complete and absolute line of bullshit, line of bullshit from you that yeah. i have too much experience because what's it worth then hmm? nothing, nothing apparently yeah nothing and the thing about it is in holland of course that if you're above a certain age or you've been unemployed for a certain point of time you can right. actually when they when they take you on as a job you just tell the tax people that, and and the company gets tax credits. Mm -hmm. They get virtually get virtually half your salary paid for them. And like, and I said to this guy, I said, "Do you realize if you had taken me on to work, I would be cheaper? Cheaper, right. I would cost you as much money or less money than to have a, a photocopier for three years in the lease." Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. That's why I just I'm just I'm just dumbfounded because it's not only that I hear it from people from you and over in Europe, I hear it from people in Asia, I hear it yeah. from people here in the States, South America, and I'm just dumbfounded by it. We're like what we do oh. is we just take we like if as long as you have a brain, we're good. And I almost prefer older people. Men, younger people are great because you can mentor them and you can teach them and whatever. Yeah. I get I'm shocked young people. At, I'm, it's, I'm it's, shocked it's, that like when you're fifty years old, they just basically think you're gonna die. I'm like, I don't have a problem with young people. I don't have a problem with young people. I have a problem with 30-year-old recruiters with their heads up their asses. Yeah. That's what I have. I have a, when I used to have to look for a gig, I didn't like it that the recruiter would say to you, oh, this is great. I'm going to get back to you. Then you never heard from them. And no, you could send them an email or call them, and they would never call back. And I asked my buddy, I said, so the recruiter you're working with, he goes, I'm working with like three of them. One of them gets back to me every single time. Tells me whatever. The other two, he said, I just gave up on. He said, because they'd be like, I'll call you on Thursday. They wouldn't call. He said, I would call them or email them and I would never hear from them. Yeah, so well, I think this age discrimination and no one talks about it is stupid. I mean, yeah. what do they think? Everyone's going to die and retire. Maybe some people want to work. I mean, like I like my, what I do, I'm going to work until the day I die. And there's people like that. Not because yeah, they like have that. to, because they want to. And I'm just yeah. fascinated by the stupidity of, whether you're a startup or you're a multi-billion dollar fortune 100 company that you look at old people at, at 50 apparently is old 
um, that they can't do shit anymore. I'm I'm totally yeah. dumbfounded by that. Well, I just I, I hear it all I the time from well, friends, I, and now I I'm dumbfounded. I think it's something you know. It's it's a subject also for the lost all of this club at some stage or another because it's just age discrimination uh, where yeah. everybody's getting older. Um, you know, and I, I'm now officially retired. So what am I doing working? You know, yeah. because I like it. And yeah. because I get bored out of my ass sitting and watching, yeah. you know, crap TV. So that's why I you got this. Some, but that's, yeah, but that's what I said to my buddy. I go, so what do you do? He doesn't need to work. So he's like, what do I do? He says, I run in the morning. I go play golf. And he goes, you know, I look for work because I don't want to. He says, like, and I've retired a couple of times. And I know what he means. You know, you can only play golf for three to six months every day and travel. And after a yeah. while, you're like, this just, this is boring. Like I've yeah. done, been there, done that. Like I did it for work. So now doing it for my, my off time is the same shit. So it's like, all right, I'll just have to start a, a, what I did. And that works. But I feel like he doesn't want to start anything. He's like, I just like to take my experience and go. And I'm like, dude, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, well, you know, tell him to come on board with us and uh, have some fun with us. There you go. Yeah. But why not? One thing. Why he's not? More, there we go. He's more, he's more reserved than I are. <laughs> well, that's, that's probably somebody you need on this show anyway. Well, let's just move forward. We've had that All one. Right. So on, on this, this day. day, on this day. Oh, I've got this, I've got this, you know, this slideshow down to a. If you only knew what you were doing. On this day in yeah. 1835, the Great Moon <laughs> Hoax. Really? There you the go. Great Moon yeah, Hoax. There you go. Yeah, you on August on show, 21st, mate. 1835, the New York Sun newspaper published a series of articles about the supposed discovery of life on the moon. Well, that's true, including bizarre creatures and an alien civilization. Once again, all true. Um, yeah. The sensational story turned out to be a hoax that captured the public's imagination. So basically, the and disinformation. probably more important, they also sold a lot of newspapers. Right, but yeah. it is true. Right. So I'm going to put that as our header. There's life on the moon. Yeah. Um, there you go. Life yeah. on the moon. And that was proven in 1835. Yeah. On the, on, 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 on today, uh, Hollywood today. They even got the date right. There you go. What about that? All right. So, well, there you go. Life on the moon in 1835 is, is not, if that's a real thing. There you go. I like it. Moon. Life on the moon. So, All right. On that's the, exciting. On yeah, I thought it would be. There we go. Move on. So um, this is the photo. one, of course, every, everybody's been waiting for this. When you say everybody, is that just this for you? <laughs> yeah, well, I am, I, I am the most important person I know. I was going to um, say, so, in your mind, you are the most important person. That is true. Yes. Yeah, you. I'm fa you know, and fa famous, famous in my own bathroom. Oh, um, so, you're famous somewhere. Go ahead. You know, and um, we, we, needed, we needed a little bit of lighthearted, uh, you know, trivial stuff to get to fill sure. the show up with so yeah, this yeah. is stupid ai photo of the week that's cool photo i would make uh, that elephant you know i, I knew you I actually it. i knew you were going to say that actually i know i like that i, I think it's awesome i want a 3d so model i want a 3d print of that elephant on my desk now that's how yeah. cool that photo is okay so it doesn't qualify as being stupid for you then no, I like it. That's cool. That's that's an elephant with swagger, man. Are you kidding? That's a cool elf. Yeah. Yeah, well, he's got to, what's he got? Two, um, two extremely large skis or whatever they are. Ska, uh, Those are skis. Snow, snowboards, I think, or snowboard for each yeah. for each uh, each leg. But that, Very nice. like him or not, he's, um, I didn't think it, but yeah, he's just one of those things, so. Again, I rant because uh, I just think all that talent's gone to waste it by gone to waste by putting elephants on skis. But there you go. I think that's, that's awesome. I think that if you can 3D print that or put that on a t-shirt, it would sell like hotcakes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, or hot or hot uh, hot elephants. Hot that's elephants. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. All well, right. Well, so we're news. getting there. Here we're getting there. Are you ready, Stephen? Oh, I've, got, I've, 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 I've got a bonus to go at the end. I haven't actually found it, uh, but I'll talk about it at the end. So we've got a, bo a bonus piece of news. So let's, here we go. So right. this is number uno. Can dad jokes be good for your child's relation, for your and your child's relationship? Yeah. If your parents have corny jokes stick you and throughout life. It might be actually a good thing. Researchers found children whose parents use humor as a parenting tool 
had closer relationships with their parents and believe that their parents did a good job raising them. Yeah. What do you want me to say to this? Seriously? Oh, it's 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 nobby news. Uh, you know, it, uh, there's not the something. Of, uh, <sighs> my, listen, my, we had my whole house was full of humor, Jewish humor. You know, New York yeah. Jew humor, which is good. We and we all had humor, which I like. But when it came to raising us, the humor was if we said something, there was a smack. There was the belt and there was the look. That's how we got reared. And I had a good yeah. relationship with my parents, and the, the humor was outside of whatever. We would all joke, we would do this, but when it was time to be like if you needed to be punished, you were punished. Yeah. Well, I, I came yeah. from my father was ex military, so it was sit down, sit up and shut up. Yeah. Um uh but yeah, we laughed a lot well, as well. But evident, evidently, the, with your child. Yeah. the thing the thing is, of course, I mean, the the, the, the real news here is yeah. that they've paid they've paid some research uh, department in some university a shitload of money to come out with with bollocks like this, and that's why it happens to be number one this week. Dad jokes. Anyway, we're going to move on because I Thank know God. that this is th this has thrilled you so much. It has. Number two. Two, Chicken wings one. advertises boneless can have bones. What the yeah. frig? Yeah. Consumers this... cannot expect boneless chicken wings to actually be bone-free. A divided U.S. Ohio Supreme Court ruled rejected claims by a restaurant patron who suffered serious medical complications from the bone getting stuck in the house. That never, I'm not even going to ask. Um, in a four to three ruling, the Supreme Court said that boneless wings referred to the cooking style. That's bull. Just as person eating chicken fingers would know that they had not been served fingers, the justice wrote. I have a problem with that. If it's boneless, there's no bones. Bones is bones. What the kind of idiot? Where did these guys go to law school? By mail? Wow. Come on. It's Ohio, yeah. too. Nobody cares. Oh, yes. it's, That's ridiculous. Well, it's, I'm, it's, I thought it was this guy would take this all the way to the Supreme Court. It's All the not way just Ohio. Ohio. It's 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 Ohio Supreme Court. Is it like yeah. a pizza? You know, well, a bit like the Supremes, I suppose. You know, I get, oh, I like the Supremes. They were a good group. Yeah, they were. Uh, nice. yeah. I like them. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, uh, I suppose you could carry this argument forward by saying that fish fingers, they call them fish sticks here. It's a bit strange. Yeah. Uh, fish fingers uh, are, you know, if I was to choke to death on a fish finger. They'd say, well, I'm sorry about that, but um, you can't claim uh, because fish don't have fingers. All right. So there you go. That we know of. <clears throat> so bon boneless don't have bones. What can I say? Okay. All right. Number three. King Charles III bestows royal title on a rare golden blonde. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> from now on, a rare goat breed known for its connection to the island of Guernsey will have this special title of Royal Golden Guernsey Goat. This is sounding like a bad porn movie right off the bat. Hey, At the bestow and the honor, the king petted the small creature and offered a compliment in the shade of its blonde coat. So King Charles likes a nice blonde then. Okay. Do the people yeah. in the UK have nothing better to do, seriously, than this guy runs around and gives a royal golden Guernsey goat? Well, I guess it's yeah. good for Guernsey. Yeah, it's good for the goat it's as well. Great. But I think I think the most disturbing thing, of course, that um, that he petted the small creature. Um, Does that mean he's going to be a lawsuit later? Is he a pedophile? I, I, How does that work? I, I, go to file? Well, yeah. Well, and, you know, he fancies a bit of the old uh, royal golden Guernsey. It would seem. Oh my God. All right. So, yeah. so, so far for the stupid story, the wings are winning. Go ahead. <laughs> Number four. Angry father. Oh, I like this already. Angry father shoots a beauty pageant judge after daughter gets only fourth place. Well, apparently your daughter was ugly. Um, a couple of hours after a contest ended, the father of one of the participants at a local the local rancher identified as Sebastian Frisco. Well, of course, he's going to do it. Um, being uh, voiced in this draft, what? Oh, this fact, this, 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 this satisfaction. This, this, wow, regarding his daughter's fourth place finish in the competition, questions this judge decision. The angry father took a gun out and attempted to shoot at one of the judges, only to be shot by police. Yeah. Okay. 
So really, it just goes to show that but you know beauty pageants are very dangerous places to go to. All right, I have no comment for that. It's just more gun violence is ridiculous. All right. Yeah. Uh, so you're still stuck on boneless chickens, and it was no, no. This one's got to, <laughs> this one's over boneless chicken. Let me tell you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, as long as you're making a note of it. <clears throat> number oh, number of four. It. Number four. Angry father. <clears throat> Angry, angry father, father. We, already showed, we already saw that angry father yeah i know i know you have to you know keep saving the program we haven't moved on yet here we okay, go number five and in triumph's past life he was an alcoholic indian priest like six say frank yeah. hamilton parker god any guy with three names right away is yeah the, this this idiot another idiot that's no, the uk no, nordstrom or no, he's the, he's, no, he's the U, he's the UK Nostradamus. Oh my God! Okay, so loser, but which course you good. would be if you're called Craig Hamilton Parker. I mean, uh, what I else would Craig you be? Craig Hamilton Parker, right here. Craig Hamilton Parker dubbed the UK Nostradamus says he can see yeah. into the future and has accurately predicted events like COVID nineteen three years after it happened, um, Brexit, and Trump being elected president once again three years after it happened. Craig says, Trump is not a huge follower of religion, but now I see Trump going through a massive religious conversion, like an awakening. Mm, mm, mm. And Trump will now turn to God. Oh, stop it. Following the assassination attempt, I doubt it. Um, also, in one of Trump's past lives, I saw that he was an alcoholic Indian priest. Yeah. Okay. Well, Mr. Nostradamus guy, um, how can I put this nicely? Bite me. Okay. So, <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Where are these no. predictions that he predicted 100 years before that happened? I want to see it. Well, that's not important, is it? I mean, my, the most important thing was that is the, oh, there's, certain, I'm there's, I'm there's certain orange gentleman uh, was in a past life or past lives, whatever. I don't know how far back Mr. Trump goes or how far his Trumps go back for that matter. Uh, he was an alcoholic, alcoholic Indian priest. And I, 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 I think what he was trying to say is Native American. Although it could be somebody from 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 the Indian India, continent. yeah, I was going to say it's hard to say what he means when he says an Indian priest because it could go either yeah. way. Yeah, and Native yeah. American. Anyway, go on. Let's just go to number six. The guy yeah, shooting at the judge for his daughter being not pretty is so far number one. Okay, there we go. The world's most expensive cigar lighter. Now we're talking. It's the most ex for you, more David. expensive than a Ferrari. What the hell? How stupid can you be? Made with 400 grams of solid virgin gold and decorated with 152 sapphires that were picked by virgins. The Louis, uh, let's see, that'd be the Louis 13th of Louis de Blanc is recognized as the world. I can read Roman numerals, thank you. I just had to look at see how many little ones there were. The no, Louis 13th of uh, Florida de Blanc is recognized. Think no, I don't think so. Um, the Louis de Blanc is recognized as one of the world's most expensive cigar lighters. In 2013, the French luxury brand ST DuPont started working on the lighter, and the specialty request of Stephen Hung, because he was hung, he's from Hong Kong. Sure, I got I know yeah. his brother, three dragging on the floor. Yeah, everybody knows him anyway. And then his other brother, how long is a Chinaman? Anyway, um, Stephen Hung is a billionaire. According to the Guinness World Book of Records, of course. Um, uh, we have to get them in. Okay, you know, come I, on. Uh, you must be paying you under the table. The Guinness World Book of Records, the world's most expensive lighter, uh, is priced at five hundred thousand dollars, and it's taken over a decade. Um, it, it's it, it's still over a decade late that the world's most expensive lighter. Really, five hundred thousand dollars for a lighter? It's a lighter. Who cares? And that's not a true statement. It's more expensive than a well. It is for the cheap Ferraris, but some real Ferraris. That's not. That's like that's getting like the the what you call fixed, like an um, yeah, and well, an, it, an, it, and an it, Enzo and an Enzo. That's getting the electric battery fixed. Yeah, but it, it's like it's 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 a Ferrari. You see, it is it is well the um, the SF ninety. Um, the Pisa and all those crappy ones the, they made, the, the plastic, and all the those the, 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 the shit ones they just came out with. Yeah, that's that's yeah, light is more expensive, but on yep. some of the other like a real Ferrari, not so much. So, okay. But that's interesting. I, I still think the oh. dad who tried to shoot a judge because his daughter came in fourth is my number one. All right, that's fair enough. Uh, I couldn't, I didn't have time to do it this morning, but uh, there was a big hoo-ha about it yesterday on the TV yeah. on the Dutch TV, and even Annette had told me, oh yeah, I read that. It's a, a report, and you will have to check it all out. Um, 
it should have been on this week's Nobby News, but it deserves to be number 6A or number 7 or sure. whatever. It's about the extremely, extremely horny slash randy dolphins that have been trying to have sex with swimmers in Japan. So evidently it's been attacking well, people, trying to, trying to hump them and, um, and to bite them. And theoretically, really, what's wrong with that? You know, they have Godzilla over there. And yeah. uh, from the radiation, the dolphins now are uh, getting a little randy. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Go, you go yeah. dolphins. Yeah, yeah. We well, see because right. I thought I thought that would be a, an excellent follow-on, uh, even though we didn't get it. It didn't squeeze in to the Novi news because of the you know, because of the cocaine fueled sharks from Brazil last week. Yeah, um, that tested that 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 died. That show yeah, got that no because of that. Yeah, yeah. this show is right. life on the moon, as as predicted by an 1835 New York paper. Um, that's the okay. one we're gonna. That's, we're gonna. That's gonna be the title of the show. I still go with number four. The angry father shoots at the beauty pageant judge after his daughter comes in fourth. And how many? Were there right. only two contestants, and they still put her in fourth. Is that how it worked? There was probably only one contestant, and she, oh, she came in fourth. She, wow, that's she, pretty she bad. She didn't. She didn't win that either. So anyway, yeah, that's well, your choice. Yeah, that's your happens. choice for this week, and that yeah, is Nobby News of the Week. Nobby News of the Week. Follow those. I like it. Right. Oh, our sex horoscope. We've got to have our sex horoscope this week. Sex horoscope. There we go. Get that up. What's, what's it? What's our channel called with the sex horoscope or our playlist? So if people want to just look. These, at these are on no. These are on no taboo. No taboo. Okay. On the playlist. There you go. You can check out no taboo on our playlist. Every week we span the weeks of sex horoscope. What do you choose? The great. Okay, let's find out why this. Why are we? Never mind. This chick, at least it's an Asian chick. Thanks for that. Yeah, well, uh, you know, this, I, I started to, uh, the, the, as I said to you last week, I had to take the lady back with a roulette table. So, I, yeah. so I, you know, so I didn't have a lot of choice. That's and then fine. I started, and it started all being sort of, all, all sort of cartoony in my head. And I thought, well, I'll just go for it. All oh, right. So, uh, yeah. All right. Aries. Aries. 85% of chance of getting laid this week. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They had, a good, they had a good week last week. They were on 99. They've slipped nice. down somewhat, but uh, this the week. Sneak areas go no. straight to his or her goal. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. So uh, good for them, Aries. Yeah. Right. And we move oh, we're on. We're going to do all 12. Taurus has an 89% yeah. chance of getting laid. Sex yeah. Taurus can be brought in. Ah, look at that. You can get some sexual achievements this week, Taurus. Congratulations. Yeah, they can brag all about it, their sexual yeah, achievements. Yeah. So eighty-nine yeah. percent for, for for the bull boys and girls. Wow, I like it. The Gemini, sixty-two percent. Let your Gemini yeah. spirit guide you this week, and you will experience the insight of your life. I doubt it. If you're at sixty-two percent, you might as well just go into the bathroom with a magazine. Okay, next. Yeah. Well, there is that. Yeah. There is technically there is technically two of them. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 124 percent. Yeah. If you look at it that oh, way, yeah. I mean, which one of the two, you know, gets to sixty-two percent? That's what I'm saying. I'm not sure. That's interesting. But move on. Cancer. Cancer. Sixty-four percent. Cancer is uh, central all this week. Yeah, I don't want to be rude, but you can't be central all this week if you're at sixty-four percent. You know what I'm saying? Well, this this is this is the coming week, so they've got all they've got all this to look forward to. Not. Oh, okay. See, because because this is from this is from Hollywood Wednesday to next gotcha. Hollywood Wednesday. So gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's, it's, okay. So it's it's all it's all to be looked forward to, and right. uh, to you know and, and, and to better your chances or not. There you Leo, go. all right. Leo, Leo whoa, ninety-seven percent chance of you yeah. having a boom boom this week. You yeah. are been dealing with a sensual tension for some time. Speaking about it this week will help release the tension. That sounds wrong on so many levels. But yes. good for the Leos. I hope they 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 get their. They, they, I think they, they have. I, they, I, they I think I hope they have their three percent released. That's all I'm thinking. Um, so uh, <laughs> so uh, okay. you know, watch it. All I can say is watch out for all those spunky lions and lionesses. There They're out there doing it for you uh, this you this week, guys. Virgo. Virgo. Ninety three percent of Virgo this week. Is I thought it's a threesome. Week is I'm uh, terrified of being alone, so reach out to your, your Virgo sex buddy. Oh my god, <laughs> that would explain the threesome. Okay, Virgo, ninety-three percent. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, they've got sex buddies. So if you haven't got one, then you've got a ninety-three percent chance of of yeah. getting one. 
uh, or not, or seven percent uh, chance of being told to f off. But uh, Libra, ninety percent chance of having sex. You you have a kinky fantasy, Libra. So you'll live it out with a sex buddy in bed. Seek adventure. Okay, sure. Let's go with that. Yeah, that's a, so that's your Libras for you. Okay. Scorpio, fifty percent. Ah, losers. Who cares? You'll yeah. have you may you may or may not get laid this week. Eh, nobody really cares. <laughs> yeah, Once you hit fifty percent or under, it's like eh, you know, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a tough week. You know, you just yeah, tough week for them. Just, yeah, just stay out of the coffee shop all week. You know, don't go, yeah. don't go and buy your you know your takeaway. Uh, I just, or I would call in sick all week. Yeah, call in sick yeah. all week. Yeah, as they should do. They should say, look, well, no snobs and knobs. My sex horoscope for this coming uh, coming Hollywood week is um is crap so i'm not even gonna bother to come in simple I gotta as that. You well. yeah I gotta just oh oh in. my god look at this look sagittarians 20 we're not even 26 percent of sagittarians there's not even a reason to discuss it yeah 26 yeah. percent. good luck <laughs> yeah they've got something on their mind it would seem um i uh, got something else they're not getting they're not gonna get any nookie this week so something on their mind that um that doesn't allow them to fully enjoy sex so therefore yeah. they're not having so therefore they're not having any yeah it's probably oh, nice anyway i tell, that's gonna I nice tell you though. it's good i'll tell you what it's going to be a busy place at the back of the bus this week i'll tell you that uh it's going to be busy somewhere oh here we go the capricorn capricorn 95 percent. congratulations you're very social this week and will and will not be shy about taking on a different role in bed Wow, you're going to get pegged this week. Nice for you. You and Deadpool. All right. Well, yeah. congratulations, Capricorns at 95%. Woo! Ooh. Okay. Here we go. Aquarius. Aquarius is 73%. Eh, you're into water sports. Can't help you. All right. Yeah. That's good. That's better than yeah. 50. So. Well, yeah. I mean, that means they're yeah. halfway down the bus. There you go. Oh, Twice. 92. That's me. 90, oh, I'm gonna get go. 90, oh. I got 92%. All right, girls, watch out. There's a distinct possibility. Oh, I know there's a distinction between love and lust. I, I mean, I really don't know what the difference is, but uh, close enough. 92%. Yeah, yeah. Well, All right. If by, Daddy's getting some with me this week. And I'm, I, and I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled yeah. that the uh, that the sex roulette wheel has, has been able to tell you something that you didn't already know. And yeah, that, that was that, great. That, uh, that um, there's, there is a distinction between lust and love. But it's not always yeah, clear. It, it, I listen. The only distinction is, is what you call it is three letters. But other than that, we're good. So yeah. So uh, there um, you have it. So that's wow. that's uh, for next week. Uh, and so nice. interested to know which part of the bus uh, everybody will be sitting on uh, next Very cool. week. Very so nice. So these moving on to something that we've got something new now. Oh. Achievable things to do before you die. Apparently, for who was it? They only had fifty percent on their sex horoscope. That's not achievable. So if you're going to die this week, you're screwed. Okay. Yeah. So. yeah. But, um, but right. these are the these are the things which are um, achievable. Okay. Or one of them, anyway. Yeah. So this is sure. this, this is an indication to help people with their life struggles. So Achieve um, things to do before you die. And, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, puts mindedly, absent mindedly, put something in the fridge that doesn't belong in the fridge, like a body. Yeah, I don't okay. Put oh, a body well, in whatever. the fridge. Okay, yeah, it's all all, right. it, it, we, we try and keep the you know the the, the bar quite low. I mean, um, you're not you're telling me, so. you know, because it, it, it's like on a par with the people who are watching this show. So, um, okay, so these are the, it's very achievable this week. Absently mindedly put something in the fridge that doesn't belong in the fridge. And okay. I had an incident once when my children were quite small, and I, you know, I put a child in the fridge. Uh, no, I wish. Um, I <laughs> thought about putting. It, I thought about putting them in the freezer, and then you could kind of get gotcha. them out and put them in the put them in the microwave. You know, when just nice. You I like that. Enjoy, when you want to enjoy them, you know. So, bing. No, it, with, uh, the the you know the, the the zapper for the TV station zapper for the for the uh, television was uh, totally gone. The remote control. Right. And you know it was all the kids' fault, but the kids' fault. But what turned out is that in one of my moments of madness, three days before I put it in the fridge, and had forgotten. So nice. Uh, yeah. Man, if you put a kid in the fridge, that's okay too, I think. But 
What yeah, I? like I say, if, like I say, the freezer freezers work better if you put them on. Yeah, uh, those big ones that you can put a whole body in, like Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, is. and then uh, yeah, and files freeze them. So we so call we call it the Dahmer freezer. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Right. So, true or false? The first um, creature in space. You didn't From think that it was a monkey. No, I thought it was a dog actually. But I could you be wrong. Let's find a, out. You thought it was a Let's find out. False. Okay. Fruit fly. Really? Fruit flies were the first sent into space on a V2 rocket in 1947. All right. Well, at least I, I knew yeah. it wasn't a monkey. Yeah. So, well, you can thank you can thank all you can thank all the Nazis for the V2 rockets in 1947, don't you? Uh, but, uh, yeah, well, you know, well, listen, you need you need Nazis. If without the yeah. Nazis, where would we be today? Yeah. Well, the History Channel, the History Channel would be totally busted. Oh, I was gonna say the History Channel would be uh, there'd be nothing on yeah. the History Channel. It'd just be yeah, exactly. uh, yeah. us. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was fun. I like that. I thought that was very cool. I like our rant on age discrimination. And I like the fact that we now know that there was life on the moon as early as 1835 that a New York paper has claimed it. And it's true. So that yeah. is really good. So that's going to be the title of the show, I think, this week. Life on the moon as known by a newspaper in 1835. Yeah. That's going to be yeah. awesome. I bet you millions of views will come to this show now. Millions. They will now. They will, they will now. now, sure. Yeah. Right, because I don't think the age discrimination anybody cares about. No, probably not. Unfortunately, they care more about life on the moon, scientific proof of life on the moon, alien creatures, and whatever else you said. So I'm very excited about that. Yeah, alien creatures and cities. Well, but now we get to some like really important. Oh, stuff. the AI baby of the week. Here we go. Hubba hubba. Yeah, are you ready for it, Stephen? Hold on to you. Hold on to you. This will warm the cockles of your heart. It'll warm something. The AI, Let's AI, find out. baby of the week. Very nice. Very cute. Yeah. I'm waiting for the hot there? Asian checks. When are we going to get hot Asian checks? Yeah, hey, baby. Oh, well, they're, 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 they're busy in the casino. Uh, you know, busy with the okay. wheel, the, the, the sex roulette wheel. The sex oh, roulette right. wheel. Okay. Uh, AI no, baby. No, baby. No, well, that was a fun good. show. I mean, we ran a little yeah. long, but uh, it's still a fun show. So. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's it, really, for this week. Um, Thank but, you, um, Don't forget to subscribe and like. Catch us here every Wednesday on our YouTube channel and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions or comments, come on. If you want to come on, you have a real rant. You're more than welcome to come on and rant. We will yep. let you do that as a fan and then leave comments below. We'll be more than happy to have you rant, but yeah, so we'll go, we'll discuss age discrimination. I think um, more on lost dollar or some of our other shows that are probably more apt for that. So, but yep. we want to thank our fans from Beaver Lick, Kentucky. So, yeah, Miss Miss Eileen Dover, Miss Eileen uh, Dover, our that's loyal she fan, there. Our, boy, our only fan. Thank you, Eileen. Our only fan. So, and yeah. um, until the next time, then. Cheers, everybody. Have a wonderful week. <laughs>